Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Alien Dawn. Alien Dawn? <laughs> Stranded Alien Dawn. We're here with General Jack Davies. We're here with Sergeant Ken Lau. We're here with civilian Laura Falkov. And we're here with Captain Samantha Kraft. And it is time to get some deconstruction done, to get some walls constructed. We need to get some stuff crafted. We need to get some things researched. We just have things to do. We got to get some crops harvested. It's getting, summer is coming to a close. And we need to get some things. What is Laura doing? Is this, is this chilling time, Laura? Is that what you're at? Laura Falcov, yeah, 5 a.m. is chilling time. Doing whatever you want. Oh, she's just like, you know what? I'm going to work. That's what I like to see, Samantha. That's what I like to see in my officers. Jack is deconstructing. Hell yeah. Get that done, buddy. Now, to review our activities, we have Samantha doing research primarily. We have Laura doing delivering and cooking as the primary and then planting and harvesting because that is also important. We have Ken doing scavenging. He should be, well, once he's done gallivanting, he should be heading out to get some more stuff because hopefully we can get some more electronics because we don't quite have the what's a jingers done yet. Ooh, that reminds me. We can set up, once these things are down... Actually, silicon leaf. Ooh, that thing's in the way. Okay, Jack, let's have you grab that and move it here. And then we're going to put this silicon leaf right here. It takes three, so that's... Oh, no. Okay, silicon leaf's not going to go there. Uh, Maybe it'll go over here. Let's see. Three? Three by two? That isn't going to work either. We need this stuff cleared. Here we go. We can do this. Right? Six by six, and then bring it down to here. And then they'll they'll clear this stuff out here in order to put that up. Ooh, the drying rack. Yeah, let's get that moved. Let's put you over next to the batteries. I think you if you leave... No, you only need this little drying rack done like that. All right, we got wooden fortifications. Excellent. We're not going to put any of those up at the moment they're not super necessary so here's what we got once this trap oh this trap's gone we're going to put poles up because i think poles are all we really need right now whoops that didn't work let's try that again because the enemies don't shoot at us yet so we're going to put the main entry here i think let's see fence gate hole gate we're gonna put the main entry here and then we're going to go out eventually. We're going to go out and create like a little kill corridor. Or we should bring it in, probably. Now that I think about it, hold the phone. So eventually what I would like to do is take this kill corridor. And we're going to put... We're going to put like flamethrower, flamethrower. And then a space, flamethrower, flamethrower. So we can have... We can have flamethrowers. It might be better to do them on the sides and have them flamethrow in and then have traps in there. I think that's probably what we're going to do. And I think the flamethrowers are one by one. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out. We're going to have the flamethrowers. And then the enemy's going to have to, you know, work its way in here. Yeah, I think that's it. And then we'll put some turrets up here so that the enemy has to, or the, if they get close or whatever. And we're going to put turrets on platforms instead of on the ground. So that's that should make things a little bit better for us. Now, the real question is, do we go out with this thing and then have them come in like that? Or do we push this out like that and then just have our defenses outside our main wall? I'm not sure how excited for that I am. But I kind of want this area for building. So we're going to have this primary building. And then when we finally get, I think, the carbon, we're going to go out a little bit. So yeah, let's do that. Let's, holy crap. Is there a way to... No? Seriously? You have to select just all of this? Okay. That seems kind of silly. Seems very silly. Alright. Let's go ahead and cancel this stuff. Can I just hit the delete key? No. Nope. Oh, they already built that. Whoops. Okay, so let's have this go... 
Nope, 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 nope. I clicked the wrong thing. That's the door. Come on, me. There we go. I could go stone, but I don't have that much stone. I'd have to go mine it. What I do have is a crap load of wood. Okay, so let's bring this up. And then we're going to go with this. Whoops. This is such a weird building mechanic. All right, we're going to go out. And then we're going to go back here. And then we're going to come in. And then we're going to take this. And we're going to go out. To Is that right? Right there. And then we're going to go here. Uh... That should be good. And then we'll come in. There we go. And that'll be our kill corridor. Oh, actually, that's probably fine right there. And I'm going to leave these because we do want... If they decide to come through here and attack the turrets, we want them coming back in here. We don't want them coming straight down here. So we're, we are going to put a fence door here with some poles. Sure, right there's fine. And we're going to put... We're going to finish this fence off like that. And then, whoops, we are going to... Actually, let's just bring this across. And then we'll go fence gate. We'll go the poles. And we'll do it like that. And then we'll set up defenses in here once we get them researched. I think, I think that'll work. And then that'll give us all of this space to do things with. We'll still be able to build in through here. And then once we get the, the large, the high walls, once we're ready to start building them, we'll probably build this section in high walls around all of this. And then that'll force them to come in here. They won't be able to shoot over the high walls, I don't think. And then we'll probably put a tower here, a tower here, maybe a tower over here, maybe a tower in here. And that way our guys can climb up there and shoot. So I think we're going to start with that. This ought to give us plenty of build space right for everything that we need the ground is relatively flat i mean it does go up a little bit over here so we'll have to be cognizant of that when we're building buildings but when it comes time for the carbon fiber building we'll probably put it right here i'll probably start with a bunkhouse then tear the bunkhouse down and then we'll attach a kitchen to it and then you know we've got our we'll have our work area the kit this area will probably turn into storage so that our work area has all of the storage right next to it. So anyway, anyway, we'll get to that. For now, this will be good. When winter gets closer, we're going to have to build uh, heating. We're going to have to build some heating stoves, which means I want sticks closer to this. So here, we're going to go stockpile. We're going to put it, for now... Samantha reach intellect seven. Wow. All right. So these two, I want nothing in here except sticks because that's going to be our stick storage. And now all of these, I don't want any of that in there. Okay. Because sticks are what you feed this stuff with. Now, do we have, yeah, we have bushes everywhere. Like we, we've got plenty of bushes. Okay, so we got Laura transporting good. I got some food rotting away. I, d I don't like that. Laura should be cooking, shouldn't she? Come on, whoops. come on, Laura. We got flamethrowers coming. Hell yeah. And we've got the balloons coming, which is going to be great. Activities. Okay, Laura's getting food. Okay, good. Yeah, so she's going to cook. And when there's the required meals, she's going to go out and deliver. And then once delivering is done, I should probably have her, yeah, this stuff here. And then we'll have her handle as her number three, along with construction. So just whatever's needed. But we got Jack constructing. We're going to get Jack's construction skill up. Like, he is going to be the master constructor. Okay, let's see how big flamethrowers are. Oh, they're only, they're okay, they're one, ooh, they're one by two. Hmm. Pause. If they're one by two, we're going to want divots. We're going to want divots. So cancel that. Cancel that. So defense, if we put a flamethrower here. Let's say, let's say we're going to do side by side. All right. 
and then come over here. We'll hit cancel. Oops, I think that was the wrong one. And then defense, flamethrower. Yeah. Well, we don't want them to hit each other. There we go. And then defense, flamethrower. There we go. We don't want them to hit each other. And then we'll add the fence around it. Um, yeah. And then we'll need a door there. And then we'll need a fence door for maintenance purposes. And then this one, we don't need a fence door. I might, I might just expand this, but for now, we'll just keep it like that. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Defense. Oh, yeah, because that's going to be there. So even if they break these, they're not going to come for them. And then fence, poles. Uh, yeah, I probably don't need any more fence poles there. And then we're eventually, we are going to have traps as well. Insufficient materials. Oh, right, 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 right. Hold on. Select those. And pause the construction. Yeah. So we got Laura transporting. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Those two didn't pause. There we go. Pause the transporting. Fantastic. All right, Ken. Find me some circuit board, buddy. Find me some circuit boards. Uh, this thing's not... No one's functioning with that. We'll have, we'll have Laura do that. Oh, and we need to move the scrap. Well, we need to move all of the stockpiles, but actually, yeah, we should probably knock that out, huh? Um, if we go... Oh, you know what? We're gonna need a, we're gonna need them covered. So, what is that? Under camps? How do we want to do this? Uh, risk of a meltdown. Why are you risking melting down there, Jackie boy? Crushingly unhappy. <laughs> well, go eat something, you dink. Okay, he's eating. He'll be fine. Okay. Oh, wait. Didn't we move? We didn't move these? I thought we moved these. There we go. Yeah. I thought we moved those. That's kind of silly. Everybody's, everybody's chowing down. Yeah, we we got stuff for you to do, guys. You know, sit back and relax. We got tea to drink. That brings up your happiness, right? Let's see. He was annoyed. He's in a little pain. Well, if you're in a little pain, grab some tea, buddy. Insulted by Samantha's sense of humor. Well, don't suck so much. Wait, where are you going? You're going out to salvage this late at night? All right. Okay, so this is going to need to be moved as well. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, this is a gate. We can't put our stockpiles here. That's that's an exit door. Okay, we're going to have to rethink where our stockpiles are going to go. Um, Maybe they should go up against this. You know, just all of our stockpiles here. So let's cancel that. They're sleeping. Let's move that. The battery should be all right there. Let's move it. Let's move it over here. And then we'll put our stockpiles here. I'll put up a shelter. All right, how we looking? Everything's looking beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah. A well-oiled military machine sleeping on their bunks. They all seem pretty happy. Let's see. Comfy bed. I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing uh, any issues with, with size of the rooms right now. You know? Waking up. 4 a.m. Okay, did he get enough sleep? Yes. Okay, and if Jack got enough sleep, everybody got enough sleep. All right, I don't like how they're just standing around when they wake up. They should immediately go to eat, and they're not. So, this is going to be relax time. This will be, they'll be able to go do whatever the hell they want. 
I don't like that they're just standing there. Like, he should be going, like, to eat or... Here, go, go punch this thing. Samantha. Grab a veggie soup because you're hungry. You, go play some music. Ken. What? What? Is there no... Ken's still sleeping. Okay, there's the food. I'd really like to get a refrigerator up and running, but not quite there yet. We got 10 electronics, though. That's legit. All right. And Jack's going to get, because he's in pain, he's going to go grab some... some tea to get rid of that pain, and that should kick that up a little bit. He's got his liver problems. Yeah. Punched a pull, he's happy, slept in a bed. His pain should go away when he's done drinking. Let's see how that works. Does that actually happen? Yep, pen went away. Hey, Ken, he's annoyed by Ken? No, I guess generals can, generals can get pissy with sergeants. It happens. It happens. Jack's still eating, Laura's doing her thing. All right, Ken, you got two more salvages on that one and then that wreck just fell. Hopefully he can find a gun or something, because I think right now we're just, we're just sitting with the one laser gun. Yeah, there you go. Get that shit moved. Hell yeah, Jack. And then Laura. You know, I think I need her handling when she's not cooking. Cool. As soon as he gets that moved, we can we can move our stockpiles. Well, first thing we got to do is put up our storage. Da, 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 da. And that. And I mean, I know I could do a house, but now we could go three and three, or we could go here, blocking object. We could go like that. It's one next to it. Yeah, let's do that. And that's scrap metal, which we have plenty of. And then and then in there, we can put... Let's see, we can go two, 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 two. That'll give us two, two, four, six. That'll give us eight stockpile slots. Which we have more than that over here. Hmm. We can also do this. We do that. No, I don't want that. So when I was in when I was in the service we had these outdoor storage areas. Like this is legitimately something people do. They leave their they leave their stuff outside. It's it's bananas. That isn't gonna work. They need to be able to get in here. It's bananas, it really is, but it's definitely something that, that got done. Okay, now I can have this line back here. And then we'll have a line here. And a line here. That should be plenty. That'll put everything within easy reach of all of the stuff that we that we need it to be in easy reach of. Where'd Laura go? Oh, she's harvesting. Yeah. Here's Samantha. Get that going. I hate to stop her from doing that, but we've got other... We've got things... Oh, you know what? I was actually going to pull her off of research. Hold on. She's researching first aid kits, which we don't really need right now. So I think we're going to pull her off of research so we can get some, some crafting done. We'll, give, we'll put research at number three. She'll plant, she'll deliver, uh, and she'll handle... Because we need we need to get we need to get things done. We need to get stuff moved. We got to get some farming done. Because we got to get all of this stuff. Oh, these this thing. How where are we at? Stock thirty. I want a hundred of those. And then I want. Okay, we've already got antibiotics. We got ten. Let's go up to twenty. There we go. 
Now let's get these deconstructed and emptied. Get these deconstructed and emptied. Oh. Uh, okay. We need to set priorities. I want none of this in here. I want only construction materials in here. We'll copy restrictions, paste restrictions, paste restrictions. All right. All right, let's get this done, baby. You know, with Jack getting up first in the morning, it brings me back to when my, my grandpa was still with us. He would always get up early in the morning. The dude, the dude just loved to get his day started. I think Laura's going to come over here and do that real quick. I always like to get going early in the morning, but now as I'm getting older, I realize it was probably his back hurting him or something. Because <laughs> I know that's why I get up early in the morning. Back starts to hurt. Gotta gotta get moving in the morning. All right, insufficient materials, which means let's make sure Jack is set to cut. Whoops. When he's not building. All right, Jack. Okay, cut's gonna be number two. Mining, handling. And crafting. What the hell? Crafting will be number two. Crafting's number three. I need Jack to finish this. So if he's not constructing, he needs to be going and cutting down some trees. Because we're going to need a few more pieces of wood for that. What was that? That was a fun sound. And let's mark these bushes for cutting. Because we are going to need sticks throughout the winter. We have, a, we have a fair number of sticks, but we don't have a lot. Yep, here we are in the first day of fall, ladies and gentlemen. We have reached autumn. <laughs> How are we looking? We're, we're at, okay, we're at, we're at 88 metal alloys. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, so I think, now that I think about it, I think Ken is going to go on an expedition. Do we have this fueled? Because I want him to go see what this is all about it's only a five hour trip so he'll be back oh it's 1300 hours already he should be going in oh here ken let's draft and undraft you he'll, he's gonna go grab some chow and then he's gonna go head onto the ship or onto the airship oh yeah these are done let's deconstruct 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 let's get all that out of there and then we got some more farmland and then this we can mark for cutting let's get rid of that and then, let's see, extend field. Let's make that, there we go. That'll make that the whole field, and that'll give us that'll give us space for some more buttermelons. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, because this is, yeah, yeah, this is silicon. So this will be our buttermelon field. That should be good. Oh, Ken's back. He's going to go to bed, and Jack should be going to heal him. What did he get? How bad is he hurt? Oh, he just got a bite and a bruise. Okay, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. And this will get our lightning rods moved to the proper locations. There we go. Sweet. Oh, yeah, there we go. Jack's cutting that stuff out of the way. Now the farm. Silicon leaf. Okay, it's already set. Sweet. So they should go plant the silicon leaf at some point. Okay, Samantha's going to do some planting. Okay, and Laura's going to harvest. Good. Yeah, go get that stuff. And don't leave it this time. Silicon leaf is too important. Because we have all the food, right? Yeah, we got... Where is it? Uh, cooked food. Yeah. We got two grain porridge and five veggie soup. Five. That's a big... Did I do five? No. I'm supposed to do four, you goofy woman. <laughs> Yeah, it's raining. Let's go check on her. Is she transporting? Okay. Now, is there any more up here? No. Okay, so she just got the one, and she's she's bringing it back. You know... That is a long ways out. I don't know if I want her to go in that far, especially since we're not making electronics yet. So let's cancel that. That little bit of silicon will be fine, and then once we get the bench, but I think that bench requires power, so I'm not going to worry about it. Ken's making us some clothes because we need those clothes, and then we've got all of this stuff that as soon as this construction's done, Jack's going to go switch. So Jack is cutting down because we need wood. 
Samantha's transporting electronics. That's a little weird. Where are the electronics coming from? Oh, did those get left on the ground? <laughs> he found electronics and left them on the ground. What a doofus. Okay, and then as soon as this is done, we'll get the traps set up. Oh, we got some aggressive animals. Okay, we'll put some traps here. Can I drag and... No. Can reach crafting too. We didn't start this one with anybody with a really high crafting skill, so it's super important that we get our crafting skill up ASAP. Oh, you know what? There's a gap in our defenses. Where are these guys? Yeah, that isn't good. Where's Jack? Okay, bring that shit back, man. That's a. I think that's enough. No, no, no. Oh yeah, that's that's enough cutting for now. Let's cancel that order. Cancel that order. We'll get him back. Laura's going to get some wood. There we go. Nope, nope. Leave that stuff on the ground. We need the pole fence done. Okay, and then we need these done. Oh, he must have... I thought those took three scrap metal. Okay. And then... Close the wooden fence. And then finish doing what you were doing. Who? Jack's risk of a meltdown? Yeah, he needs to eat. Okay. Well, come and eat, buddy. Eat a veggie soup. What? Ah, oh, crap. They're close. All right, Control R. Let's let's get over here, guys. Uh, how do we want to do this? I haven't gotten the defenses fully set up yet. Where's... Where's Ken? There he is. With his laser gun. Alright. Let's get him, guys. Oh, man. Okay, well, we got a few of the traps done. Yeah, they came through here. We're gonna need to put walls here. Oh, they're in and they're hitting us. Ah, we got to do our defenses up. Got to get our flamethrowers up. Hey, guys. There's 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 a couple dudes right here. There we go. Is that all of them? Okay, that's all of them. All right, everybody go do your thing and we'll have the general wait for treatment. And then we'll set these guys to Oops. I'll set these guys to butcher at some point. <laughs> that is a lot of meltdowns if all of that go if all that happens. Alright, Ken's got his healing up. Sweet. Okay, everybody should be a little happier now. Well, these guys, yeah, they're getting they're getting there, they're getting there. Ken is super happy because of all of that death that happened. Man, look at all these. Yeah, we're going to be eating veggies for a little while. Yeah, there you go. Get those traps up. Here, finish these traps. Let's just get this done. Get those traps done. And then we'll get some flamethrowers up. I was really hoping for some better guns with his scavenging, but that didn't happen. And we're going to have to leave Ken. He's not going to be able to go out on any expeditions because we really do need um, we need these clothes done. And then once the construction's done, we're going to have old boy go in and do this, do some crafting once Jack's done over there. What is he really interested in? He really likes crafting, so that'll keep his, his happiness up, just like with him. And she really likes construction, which is too bad because she's so damn smart. I don't really have time for her to go do do a whole lot of... Well, what is she doing right now? She's butchering. Okay. 
And oh, I left those two things over there. Well, that's fine. That'll give us a little bit of wood. It looks like they cut down those bushes already, too. Might as well harvest these. Might as well get a few more. This is going to get cold come winter. It's going to get refrigerated and possibly frozen. All right, Ken's crafting is three. That's excellent. Okay, he moved over here to get some cloth because we don't have any probably. Yeah. He went over to get cloth because we don't have any. All right, Jack, you're currently how happy? Okay, you're getting pretty happy. Yours is going down because you're not crafting anymore. That's re I think these are relaxation items, right? Yeah, used for relaxation. So what else makes people happy? Food, right? The variety of food, the teas, the coffees. Oh, we can, did we ever, did we research coffee? Or is it just tea right now? Yeah, it's just coffee. Uh, researching brewing is gonna be a good one, I think. Let's do that before balloon optimization. I mean, it's not that Jack's gonna be able to do brewing, but waiting on ingredients. All right, yeah, we'll do that. And Jack, um, Jack, it's raining outside, but now the hell with it. Oh, oh, we're at 100 alloys? Okay, so we need to do something with our alloys. So that means we can unhook these two for construction. Yeah, going to sleep now. There you go, Laura. Punch that pole. Yeah, Laura, do some cooking. Yeah, baby, get it done. All right, everybody slept in till 5 a.m. this morning. Okay, so these guys are just not doing anything. Like, they have no need. They're not that hungry. Hmm. I wonder if that's a problem. So, they're not hungry in the morning. Well, these two are, but they're not all... Yeah, I don't know. So it's like they should they should really be eating in the morning, like their morning breakfast, but they're eating at night. You know what I might do? I have an idea. Let's bring relaxing to 1,600 hours. Bring this back to work. I don't know if that's a good idea. We'll see. But that'll give that'll have them eating, you know, at night rather than during the day. You extract vegetable oil and you go ahead and sew. Are they putting clothes in these? No. No. Do I have clothing? Yeah, let's get apparel not allowed in these. Where are all the clothes then because we have two jackets and a pair of pants but this thing says oh it all says not enough resources okay leathers and synthetic tiles okay um i don't see any leather bound oh here we go oh they're right there okay we're gonna let everybody finish eating okay All right, let's see who, who he goes after. Okay, he's going after Samantha, so get him. There we go. And that is how a military unit takes down a giant cow thing. All right, we'll hit this one, and then we'll leave a couple of guys to butcher. Oh, shoot, there's more. Yep, run, little boy, run. Run, little cow, run. You're not running. I mean, I guess that's fine. <laughs> There we go. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. It's early AM. That one's not fighting back. I think three ought to do it. Nah, I want... I want... Okay. Now we're gonna set... Hunting to be number one on everybody's. 
Let's get this done. Butchering overgrown insect. No. What's it? Constructing flamethrower. Okay. Butcher big horned animal. Jack. Butcher those two. And Samantha. Butchering. Okay, and Laura yeah, Laura Laura really does need to get to cooking. Like let's let's get her off of butchering. Alright. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We are going. Now, he should transport. He's going to transport, but I want him to finish butchering. Oh, that's not good. Where's that guy at? What is that thing? Oh, it's one of those. Okay, we got a minute. That's not, that's not critically important. Okay, so meat. You grab the hides. You and you. Let's go kill this thing. Oh, are there two of them now? No. Oh, he's just, like, attacking fences. Okay, he's running away. Is he? Is he coming back? Okay. Okay, instead of butchering, let's have her fix these. All right, and then these guys should have picked everything up. Yeah. That's probably why they're traveling so slow. Oh, no, he's coming back. Samantha gonna have to kill it? I don't want to meet my crops. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's three of them. Jeez, oh, Pete's. All right, Jack. Let's get out here. Lara. We're gonna have to kill these things. And you can just leave those on the ground. We got we gotta We gotta take care of this. There's too many of them now. We can't be having this nonsense. Okay. And we'll mark these guys for butchering. Alright. Jack's repairing the fence. Ken's butchering the flathead animals. Oh, there was some meat that got left on the ground. All that. Destroyed structures? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's taking care of that. We've got a little bit of wood left. Yeah, sometimes you've got those dudes, those those critters that, that just run around and uh, they want to eat your crops, you know? And they just they just come in for your crops. It's just It just happens. Okay, so it's yep, it's time to eat. Good. Look, they're they're over here eating and drinking some tea in the middle of the day. And that what was my schedule for that? Yep, 16 to 1700. So now let's look. Jack is full, Ken is full, full. Okay, so they're full at 1800 hours instead of, you know, 2200 hours. So we'll see what that does if they actually eat in the morning now. Okay, Ken's out butchering, and then we'll get him back to we'll get him back to crafting. A mysterious calling. Ooh, <laughs> I know what that is. Um, someone. Let's see. Laura and Samantha. Yeah, I think Laura needs to go. How long is this one? Wait, what is this? Don't laugh now. I've been feeling some sort of calling. Should we go investigate? Yes, of course. I'm not call source. Yeah. And I think... Uh, yeah, she's dumb enough to go. We're not going to go right now. I'll send her in the, maybe in the morning, but... Look at all that. Okay, we're going to have a ton of meat. Yeah, get that flamethrower up. 
That'll give us a flamethrower. So they'll get caught in these traps, and when there's like two, three, or four of them, something like that, um, the flamethrower will... Okay, well, we're not doing that right now. The flamethrower will kick on and just decimate them. All right, let's see what happens in the morning. Ooh, they, they're going to make some meat stew now because we have meat. So I'm going to kick the veggie stew down to two. Oh, wait, meat soup. Okay, I was making meat soup, not meat stew. That's fine. Okay, we'll have two of those. That'll give that'll give variety. They like variety, and we got grain porridge. Though, that's got to be getting kind of old at this point. So it might be that I need to force someone to eat grain porridge instead of what they were eating before. All right, Laura, you are... Uh, you're kind of hungry. Where's the grain porridge? I don't like this. This is annoying. There we go. Eat that. Hen, kind of hungry, kind of... Okay, well, they're kind of hungry. Oh, music night. Yeah. That is in 14 hours. Now, if Laura goes on this trip, how long are we talking? Ooh, a 22-hour round trip. She's going to miss music night. Okay, we'll go to we'll go we'll go tomorrow. Cuz music night's going to shoot their happiness up by a bunch. And we yeah, we definitely need that. What's the weather? Let's see. We're looking at... Ooh, it is getting colder than shiznizzle. All right, we're going to have to get a heating stove up. Uh, let's put it... Let's put it in the middle of the room. And then... I should have done this already. Uh, shoot. Why are these so far away from the wall? We're gonna need that. Oh, and then the eating area is gonna need one. Uh, let's put it right there by the. We'll put it right there by the table. All right, we're gonna have to get the heat going, which means we got to make sure we got sticks, which shouldn't be hard. We've got plenty of sticks, and there's plenty of stick bushes. We just gotta remember to cut them down, because we're gonna need that stuff until we get to the point that we're um, what do you call it? We're using electricity for it. Now, solar farms, when we do finally get them, I gotta find a good place for them because we don't want them near the combat area. And back here, we're gonna expand for living areas for a bunkhouse, a small... Well, no, because we're gonna do that out of carbon fiber. We're gonna do everything out of carbon fiber when we finally get to it. Oh, well, all right, cut that tree down. We're only at 77. All right, what is this? Laura is idling. Really? Laura, you are just so good at your tasks that you are able to idle. So cooking, planting, harvesting, handling, delivering. That's going. Yeah, it's still cooking. Yeah, there is nothing for Laura to do. If we didn't have music night tonight, man, I would have her up here doing stuff. You know what? Let's front load two extra veggie soups because we're going to need to have it for her to be gone. Let's give Jack that spear. Let's grab him some chow. Yeah, Laura, eat. Now, when we need people to not be near the base... Having relaxation time right there is not good. But shoot, we got tons of meat now. So we need to make sure we're making meat stew as much as we are making veggie. Hell yeah. Did I get pickling? No, not yet. I like the task. Music night. There we go. Wait, something's... Oh no, they're all here. standing around discussing the future how does people like each other let's see okay so jack likes laura and samantha just fine ken likes samantha and jack just fine laura doesn't like anybody 
And Samantha and Ken are getting along. Ooh. Ooh. Could we be pushing beds together soon? All right. There we go. Attended a music night. Uh, nope, nothing there yet. Enjoyed a beverage. Holy cow. The tea gave plus 15. Isn't that nuts? These guys are all super happy, except her. But she probably needs to eat. No? There we go. Plus, nope, that's combat level. What, her combat level just kind of went up randomly? And plus 20 for music night. Yep. Beautiful. All right, so tomorrow morning, uh, how's our food looking? We have five, we have seven meals. So tomorrow morning, Laura is going here. Samantha's too smart. You got to send a dummy out to this one. <laughs> it's completely ridiculous, but you got, you got to send a dummy out to that one. There we go. 5 a.m. People are getting up. And Ken is idling. Why is Ken idling? Okay, well, if you're just going to sit there, you big dummy, get your butt to work. Sew a coat, because we're going to need them. Winter's coming. Winter is coming, baby. Will he be good until the next relaxation time? Okay, Samantha should be off now. 11 hours is a long time. Meteor rain. Oh, that's not good. During this disaster, metal-containing meteors fall to the ground. They could cause damage to plants, animals, and structures. Holy shit, why is Jack idling? Is there nothing to do? Seriously? Oh, Samantha's over... Why is... Oh, because researching got pushed down. I don't need Samantha crafting. Now that, now that all of that other work is done, let's get her back on research. Oops. Hunting, planting, crafting is three. That's fine. Handling is one. Okay, so Samantha, go back to researching. Jack... There you go. Holy jeez, oh god. What, did that hit right here? No, that's the ship. <laughs> it's raining around us. <laughs> so were we able to get all of those? Okay, 129. Where's the hides? Okay, well, yeah, we were able to get all of those hides put in there. Oh, uh, we got a coat, and Ken is level 4 crafting. what I like to see. And Ken is eating. Okay, so Ken waited until 12. So they'll eat outside of relax time. Hmm. Maybe if they're close to the food. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, we're down to 86. Okay, these are all done. Ooh, we need to put uh, air vent here. Oh, this is going. Oh, okay, sweet. Okay, so it is only 48 degrees in here. That's not very warm. And it's cold as piss in here. So let's put a second one right here. Jack does like to build. <laughs> Actually, Samantha... No, Jack's doing it. I mean, it'd make her happy, but only for a short period of time. Okay, and Jack and Ken are both idle. Okay, well, with... Winter here, we need stuff for these guys to do. So, we have 87 logs. I think before it gets too cold... No, wait a minute. Are we... Are we seriously all the way up on... No, we're nowhere near up on clothes. Limit reached, limit reached. Limit reached. Spear, waiting for a worker. So, Jack, get your ass over there. And then... Hen, waiting for a worker to build coats. What's the problem here? Why are you guys being dumb? Get to work. Oh, it's 1,700 hours. It's their chill time. Isn't it? Ah, that just means they'll be full in the afternoon. Or in the morning. Handling the heating stove. Okay, so now we got 65 and 48. And 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and a little chilly in the bedroom is fine. Alright, here we go, guys. Alright, calling intensified. When I reached its source, a book... 
A book, of all things, half buried in the dirt, was as if staring at me. I reached out to touch it, and with a soft whoosh, it crumbled to thin dust. A feeling of relief came over me, and with it, the knowledge of a special place not too far from here. Um, yep, let's do it now. I found a circle of small rocks around an effigy made from rusty scrap. A thing like that in the middle of nowhere and an un is an uncanny sight, but it doesn't give off a bad vibe. I feel like entering the circle and paying respects to the rusted figure in the middle. Alright, let's do it. Okay. As I got near the effigy, effigy, it sprang to life and clung its mishap and arms around me. Locked in its tight grip and pierced by metal parts, I struggled to get away and then it spoke. It told of a mystic who ran this planet... Who... What? Who visited this planet on his journey to find knowledge and enlightenment. Upon departing, he decided to leave behind a piece of his consciousness, so he wrote a diary and built the effigy as a protector. The knowledge... I received knowledge at the price of my blood. So now she has got a intellect of 10. So we have an uh, we have two high intellect people. Now, I don't know if I like my... I mean, it's better than these two, because these two have other things to do. They have man things to do. And these two, you know, can get all of that done. And now Samantha can be freed up to craft, which makes her happy. Is it craft or construction? Construction. She can be freed up to do construction, and Laura can take over uh, research, because she has a 10 now. So she's going to, I'm going to put research on two, cooking, farming, planting, and then maybe in the summer we'll switch research back to Samantha. But in the winter time, when there's not that much to do as far as, you know, planting goes, we can have Laura doing the lion's share of the research. I think that's what's going to happen. Oh boy, this is turning out to be quite the efficient little squad. Now that the winter's here, we're getting all this crafting done. All of it should be done. Ooh, and we got an attack. Oh my goodness gracious. They're coming for us. Ooh, and we're a little behind. But we have flamethrowers now. We have flamethrowers now. You know what I didn't do? I didn't deconstruct this. I know, it's late. and He's probably going to get pissed, but... Um... We gotta get that done. Ravenously hungry, so somebody didn't eat. Alright. Now we'll see what happens. It's probably him. He's a dummy. Yeah. Oh, what the? God damn it. Alright, well. Oh, she's not here. Get up, dudes. We gotta get this done. Now, the reason I have this here, this fence, is because even if they break this fence over here, it's not going to matter. Oh, Jesus. Run, Jack. Oh, it's attacking my lightning rod. Okay. We'll let everybody go back to bed. Now, hopefully, those critters don't attack until the morning. We'll give these guys a little bit more sleep. Oh, that didn't happen. All right, gents and lady. Back up. <laughs> oh, my God. They didn't... Uh, we didn't get a chance to fix that fence. I wonder if that's going to be a problem. Where are they? Yeah, that's going to be a problem. All right, Jack. Undraft. What? What do you mean he's... Repair that shiznas. Jack, get up. Yeah, you're not going to sleep, buddy. You're going over here. Samantha. Why is Ken... You need to hustle, bro. Hustle. Ooh, you know what? I might put... I'm going to put a, a tower right there. Might be a good place for one. Ah, sugar honey iced tea. Now this backfired. All right. Draft Cattell out of there, dude.
Well, this isn't good. All right. I'm going to bring these guys over here. Oh, there's a broken part in the fence there. Let's see what happens if we just leave them. If we're out of range. Okay, they ate their way through. All right. Well, that's, uh... Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have had him over there. You know? Uh... It's one way to do it. We'll just hide on the other side of the flamethrowers. <laughs> that worked. Okay. Now you three. We got a bunch of aggressive animals. Okay, so these fences are going to have to get switched. We're going to have to do pole fences, man. Like, these guys are attacking. Yeah, they destroyed my lightning rod. guy's attacking. Who's he attacking? Ken? Nope. Going after Samantha. She's my only uninjured character. Leave her the hell alone. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we got her. Or him. Now let's get that one dead. I don't believe they destroyed my lightning rod. Why do they not like the lightning rods? Like, the, it looks like they targeted it specifically. All right. Undraft. She... Okay. Uh, boy. Okay, Ken, you're less hurt. So you wait. We'll get these guys fixed up. Yeah, Samantha. You're fine. Okay, Heal those people. Make Samantha feel better. Laura's back. She's going to need to be friggin' healed. Samantha wakes up. She can she can go heal if, if Ken's not done. Okay. All right, Samantha's up. She's going to finish doing something. Oh, okay, that's fine. You go wait. There we go. We'll let Samantha finish the treatment since she's not hurt. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, that was brutal. That was brutal. Well, we got some repairs to take care of. Uh, we got a lot of repairs to take care of. Is everybody healed? Yeah. Nobody's awaiting treatment. Sleeping, recovering, recovering, handling. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that was nuts. Yep, we definitely, I think, need to upgrade those those fences. I think the fences are done. Which means we're gonna have to do some. Uh, we're gonna have to do some cutting. We are gonna have to do some cutting and get some stuff done for these guys because we can't have our defenses failing like that. I shouldn't have put Ken over here. I bet you that's why the bugs came this way, or maybe they saw these as a weaker starvation. What the hell? Why are you starving, you tool? Where's the food? Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Is there no food? Oh, I guess that was too long for Sam for the for Laura to be gone. All right. Eat some emergency rations. How about you? You're fine. You are not fine. Go eat some emergency rations. And you're fine. Okay. So you stop what you're doing and go eat. Okay, yep, Jack's going to do Jack things because Jack is awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to cut this one. I hope you enjoyed the shenanigans and the and the crazy because holy cow, we had some issues this time. But if it, these herbivores keep coming at me, if they stop coming at me, we'll be able to take care of this stuff. But what's happening? Why did that? Oh, that was ticking down. All right, but these guys should be going to bed soon. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content. What in the absolute...
And uh, if you guys did enjoy it, share share the uh, content with your buddies. Share it with your friends. Let let people know uh, where where it is, because uh, they're attacking the power pole. They just do not like these things. That is crazy. I'm gonna have to rethink where some of this stuff is. Oh, look, the snow's on the ground. But uh, yeah. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you here next time.